QCN Live, found at qcn.stanford.edu, is an interactive educational package designed to help individuals and classes learn about earthquakes and seismic waves. This free software is intended to use with QCN's USB accelerometers and sensors that are internal to some mobile devices. QCN Live helps increase awareness of earthquake hazards and illustrates how seismologists can measure earthquakes. Inside of each of QCN's sensors is a small chip called a MEMS accelerometer. Each MEMS accelerometer is made up of a series of microscopic cantilevers. The MEMS accelerometer balances these cantilevers with millivolts of electricity. With one of these sensors, nearly any computer can be turned into an earthquake monitoring system or an educational tool. You can request a free or subsidized sensor at qcn.stanford.edu. With a Mac or ThinkPad laptop, you can join up right away. We can use that sensor that's built right into your laptop. You can download QCN online. Just select Join QCN, Download QCN Software. Now scroll down and select the appropriate version for your operating system. Now download the software to your computer unarchive or uncompress the file. You should now have a QCN Live-Mac or QCN Live-Windows directory in your downloads or desktop. Now open this directory and click on QCN Live. When QCN Live opens, it starts in the earthquake viewing module. Recent earthquakes are shown in red and historic earthquakes are shown in blue. The tectonic plate boundaries are shown in pink. You can also select the nighttime view. You can click and drag the globe. Wherever you see lights, you know that there is population, which equates to hazard if there's earthquakes there too. By selecting any red or blue earthquake, you can display its earthquake information. Click the USGS logo up top to see the official USGS webpage associated with this earthquake. Back in QCN Live, on the menu at the top, select the second icon from the left. This is our real-time sensor viewing module, displaying three directions of acceleration in real time. The directions are vertical, Z, towards the cable, Y, and perpendicular to the cable in vertical, X. The acceleration records are shown in blue for vertical, yellow, and green for horizontals. When stronger accelerations are observed, the window will automatically scale to display the entire seismogram. The purple vertical lines will appear when strong new motions are observed. You can also zoom in on the vertical and horizontal axes by selecting the blue magnifying glass icons at the top. Here is a vertical zoom, and this is a horizontal zoom. You can also scroll back and forth using the slider at the bottom. Now for a little fun. With the Make a Quake module, you can simulate your own earthquake and print out the sensor records. To get started, select File, then Make Earthquake on the menu above. You can enter your name, how long you want the record to go, when you want it to start, and what printer format you want to use. When you hit start, the Make a Quake module will begin to count down. Now start shaking your sensor to simulate an earthquake. When completed, you'll see a print preview. You can save the plot as a PDF, or cancel and try again. You can also select the 3D view shown here. The top plot illustrates significance, or in other words, the strength of the current motion relative to the strength of previous motions. The cube view illustrates that there are two accelerations for every motion. First you have a speed up, and then you have a slow down. You can capture the current screen by just selecting the top right button on the menu bar up above. Alternatively, by selecting the record button, the red circular button on your menu. You can save your records to disk. The files will save as .csv files 
which can be read into Microsoft Excel. For more information, please go to qcn.stanford.edu, where you can find this and other videos. Thank you for participating in the Quake Catcher Network, and we hope you found this video useful.